What's up reefers, welcome back to Ash's Reef and to Ash's channel. In this episode, I will try and explain you how important it is to have a controller on hand to try and monitor some of the most important parameters. We all know how important the temperature parameter is and how a fluctuation of this can be detrimental to your tank. So for the past week, actually for the past uh, uh, you know, a month and a half, we've been having some uh, really crazy summer. We've had some really hot summer days and because of that, the temperature has fluctuated. If you can see for the last week or so, uh, from 82 to 78, just in the last two days, from 9th of July to 11th. Now, you do not want that kind of fluctuation. So what I ended up doing is incorporating the one of the preset function of chiller in the Apex programming and set my uh, uh, you know fan to operate when I needed the temperature at 79 now I could not use the regular fans that the stores LFS or the online store sell so what I ended up doing is using the one of the table fans from Walmart and it has that extended rod so I could extend it to the height of the tank uh, you know connected it to my apex I did this yesterday and if you could see from 14th of July to 15th how stable the temperature has been uh, I do not see any mountains if you see in the past just for the week uh, those mountains indicate spikes uh, here it is uh, a clear better picture of uh, the spikes you do not want this mountain so it definitely helped to have apex on hand and a use of it is much more important to uh, get your tank going and to be able to successfully grow corals um, you know even LPS and SPS or any kind of uh, corals need stability to grow and survive and it is our responsibility to provide them with the utmost care and try to avoid any shocks that might be detrimental to their survival. Coming back to the tank, the tank has been performing well. On here in the video, what you are looking at is a small little zoa garden that I have created and I'm hoping that all those different kind of zoas grow over and stay limited to that island only. This way all my SPS is on the uh, cliff will have chance to grow because zoa stings are not good. Uh, you know, there is always coral warfare and I predominantly wanted my tank to have SPS. The tank flow has been provided with uh, QP5 two uh, small pumps from coral box and they have done the job well so far i will come up with uh, a review on those uh, uh, power heads uh, lately they have been uh, not doing that great uh, for some reason they keep on losing the flow and i have to give them some air uh, and once i give them that air intake the flow comes back so maybe it one of my snail that blocks the intake of the pump I'm not so sure we'll see but I'm kind of keeping an eye on that pump both the pumps but you know other than that no issues uh, they've been working well what you're looking at is uh, the Bali green slimer and it is uh, doing exceptionally well in the tank Now, for all the newcomers, I will definitely advise to stay on top of your parameters. Uh, if you are planning to come into SPS uh, field, uh, you know, you could always grow. There is, uh, you know, everything is possible. As far as you keep your parameters stable. Uh, those air bubbles, what you are seeing is, uh, I'm still doing my uh, bubble scrubbing at night. And uh, that's why on the apex screen, in the beginning you will see uh, my uh, ORP ratings being in the range of 450 
and seems like the corals and the fishes are loving it so i'm leaving it uh, alone and that brings another point of keeping your tank uh, you know stable uh, leave your tank alone uh, yesterday i come across a gentleman in one of the lfs stores that i went to buy some supplies and although his tank has been doing great uh, sps's uh, for some reason he keeps on changing parameters because he keep on telling me kept on telling me uh, he's not been getting enough growth on his sps while SPS are slow growers, you do not expect them to grow uh, overnight or in a month or two. So if you are uh, wanting to step into the field of SPS, definitely uh, make sure one thing in mind that these uh, kind of corals need a lot of time to grow. They will not grow as fast as uh, softies or LPSs. Um, so you need to give them some time and some time trying to chase uh, in order for them to grow faster. Lots of hobbyists try and do various kinds of, uh, you know, different things. Uh, change their nitrate, change their phosphate, uh, bring in the bio pellet or any other means. And guess what? It ended up uh, uh, shocking the system. Now, once the corals does not look good, then they try to go and uh, remedy it with trying and fixing it somehow and that again shocks the coral because now the coral got uh, you know back-to-back uh, -back shocks that's not good so my opinion and my advice to anyone watching this video would be just take it easy keep it simple try not to do too many things at once uh, whatever change you make first, wait, wait for some time to see how your corals respond. Uh, you should wait at least uh, two weeks minimum to a month to try and see how your corals respond to that change before bringing in any other change. Here is my uh, small little SPS uh, garden. You could call it's uh, 50 gallon all in one tank without some my sump is at the back chamber four inches and uh, my refugium is run through a, a chato reactor this is a coral that i added today reef raft uh, rainbow flavia this yuma has its own characteristic it came into my old tank with one of the live rocks purchased i never bought this yuma and it somehow managed to come into my new tank as well so i do have a history with this coral and i'm glad that it made it to my uh, my new tank as well this way i will always have a memory of that coral Well folks, uh, if you guys did like this channel and if you guys think the advice in this channel is useful and helpful, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and you can always hit that bell, any other updates on this tank, you will get the notification as well. If you have any questions, do not uh, hesitate to put into the comment section below and I will try my level best to answer your questions. Until then, happy reefing.